Ben, uh, we find ourselves now at the end of the fourth and final day of the All Tech FEI World Equestrian Games 2014 in Normandy. And what an exciting competition it has been. Four days that has ranged from the dressage all the way through to the culminating in the show jumping today where we have seen the best athletes in this sport in the world competing. And we have had them at two venues, both here and Arrow Dupin. And not only that, the, we have got the world team medals to give today, but also the individual medals. But also to tell you as well that we've got the top 16 places that have been secured by the competition today. So those top six teams will have secured their places in the next Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. So ladies and gentlemen, we have got a, a lot of people in front of you, but if I could just identify, I know you know them all, but I just for formally to identify them. If um, we are waiting for Sandra Alfart, who is in first place on Opgen Luvo. We have with us Michael Young, who is on Fischer Rokana FST, FST from Germany, and William Fox Pitt Chile Morning from Great Britain. We're also very pleased to have with us um, the top rider, who has proved to be a very popular representative, not only his team, but his country, the host country, Maxime Livio, on Calco de Mer. And we have also got on our stage today, maybe the familiar face to some of you, of Gillian Rolton, who has been our very able president of the Grand Jury over the last four days of competition. We are also with us, we have the teams, or the the make up constituent parts teams who, who are here. From Germany, as I say, we are waiting for Sandra Aufhart and Dick Schreider and Ingrid Klimke. But from Great Britain, we have sitting in the front row there, we have Zara Phillips, Tina Cook, and also Harry Mead. And also, we are so pleased to have with us today, who are in the bronze medal position, Elaine Penn, Tim Lips, Meryl Blom, and Andrew Hefferman from the Netherlands. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, what I'm going to do, if I can, is to start with um, William Fox Pitt, if I may, who is in bronze medal, and um, to, first of all, hand over to my colleague to let her just translate that, as uh, she's got quite a lot to say. Okay, you're fine. Okay, so let's start with William Fox Pitt. Chilly morning from Great Britain. William, we've seen each other over the last few years. You've been in place to have slipped um, from the lead is always very sad, but you must be pleased with the overall performance from Chile Morning over the last four days. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, I am very pleased with Chile Morning. Uh, he's had a fantastic competition. He's gone really, really well. And it is frustrating that he had a fence down. Of course it is. But um, I'm very lucky that he didn't have two. <laughs> thank you. No problem. Um, Alors vous avez gagné une médaille de bronze, euh, mais vous étiez en tête de classement. Là, c'est dommage que ne pas gagner une médaille d'or. Bah oui, c'est euh, normal euh, d'être un peu déçu. Par contre, je suis très content aujourd'hui. Euh, C'était une épreuve euh, extraordinaire quand même. Euh, c'est frustrant de ne pas avoir euh, eu euh, un sens fort, un, un petit fort. Euh, bah, c'est pas très grave. So let's just very start. Is there anybody in the, in, in, in the audience who would like to ask a question of William Fox Pitt? Yes? Over there. Can you um, just give your name and... Kate Green. Um, William, Chile is by far the most successful um, stallion ever um, eventing at this level. What, do, what makes his, his temperament so special and, and um, do you think, how, how do you sort of account for his success? I've, I've never ridden a stallion um, at any decent level before, so um, Chile and I have been learning together. Um, he is a very special horse, he's got a fantastic temperament, um, he's a, a, real, um, a real worker, a real trier, and I think as a stallion he's, he's a very rare commodity, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of him, as, as is his owner Chris Stone, um, who's had him since he was a five-year-old. So. Um, you know, it was brilliant that he put in such a good performance this week. I think great for Stallions and um, certainly great for his future um, as, a, as a Stallion. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous parler de la performance de Chili Morning? Il, il était très fort aujourd'hui. Pour moi, euh, 
il, bah, en fait, la question correspond aussi à ce nouveau. Il est le meilleur talent à ce nouveau. Bah oui, euh, je suis d'accord. Euh, J'ai jamais eu un euh, talent euh, à ce niveau-là. On apprend ensemble. Euh, il a une attitude euh, extraordinaire. Euh, il travaille très dur. Euh, en fait, c'est très rare de trouver un talent comme lui. Euh, je suis super fière euh, comme son propriétaire qu'il a eu depuis son âge de 5 ans. Et euh, oui, bah, je suis très fière de lui. So, if there are no more questions for William, then we move on to, in second place, silver position on the individual. Michael Young on Fiskal Rokana, FST. Michael, you were saying, you're talking about again over the last few days, about the ability of this horse, your horse, uh, Fiskal Rokana. That was a step for perfect show jumping round today. It was superb. How natural a show jumper is this horse, or how much work do you have to do with him to get to this standard? I'm absolutely happy about uh, Fisher Okana. She do a really fantastic job. Um, she was very quiet in the dressage, and uh, she was so much fighting in the cross country for me. And um, also in the show jumping, she was very quiet and relaxed when you uh, go in the stadium. Um, she was a little bit tired in the morning, um, but she was also in the show jumping so much fighting and concentrate on the fences. This is uh, unbelievable, and I'm so happy that I um, that I can ride her. Je suis très content avec euh, sa performance. Euh, elle était euh, très calme euh, aux épreuves de dressage. Euh, elle a bien bataillé sur le parc de cross. Et puis aujourd'hui, elle était très détendue au stade. Elle était un peu fatiguée ce matin. Par contre, euh, elle s'est bien concentrée euh, aujourd'hui pendant l'épreuve. Et euh, sur les, les obstacles, et je, je suis très content. So, any questions for Michael? Yeah, Anna. <coughs> Uh, Michel, hello, Dominique Fauré from West France. Uh, it's the very first time since 2009 that you are not on the higher steps of an international competition, but you look very happy, not, not, too, not too sad. Can you tell us why? Because it's, <laughs> you are happy for, for Sandra, you are happy for your national title? I was waiting for this question, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm absolutely happy about the uh, about my horse, this is uh, really amazing. She do a fantastic job. I, um, yeah. Um, I think it it is really special and um, a very fantastic thing when you can uh, do four years later the World Championships again with the same horse. Um, that's an amazing feeling, and this was. Uh, um, it was a little bit shame that I can't do it with Slavia State exam, but I'm so happy that I have a really good second horse, and I'm yeah so so happy about my second place. This was really fantastic, and uh, Sandra Aufa do a fantastic job the last years. She was always uh, under the top places. And uh, yeah, she do a fantastic job uh, on this weekend. She had a hard working yesterday in the cross country. She was the last rider, and the ground was really not good. But uh, yeah, she and the horse is a, a very good team, and they know each other. They are yeah, a very big partnership. And the show jumping today was perfect. So she's a uh, really yeah, world champion. Thank you. C'est la première fois depuis 2009 que vous n'avez pas gagné la médaille d'or, mais vous êtes toujours très content. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer pourquoi bah, euh, J'ai attendu euh, cette question, merci. Euh, je suis très content, c'est clair, euh, parce que mon cheval aujourd'hui a été super. Euh, euh, notre performance a été fantastique. Ça leur aurait été très spécial de répéter euh, les mêmes, avec le même cheval, de faire participer au jeu euh, à classe mondiale avec le même cheval. C'est dommage aujourd'hui de ne pas y être avec mon premier cheval, mais euh, aujourd'hui, Fisher Ahmed est super fort euh, et je suis très contente d'avoir gagné euh, la médaille d'argent. 
Euh, par rapport à Sandra, bah, même euh, l'année dernière, elle, elle a vu euh, de très belles performances d'elle et euh, elle, euh, bah, cette année, elle est encore mieux que l'an dernier. Hier, c'était très difficile pour elle parce qu'elle est sortie comme le dernier euh, cavalier sur le, le, le parcours. Mais, par contre, elle a bien bataillé hier et aujourd'hui, sa performance était parfaite. So, any that everyone happy with questions, Michael? So we'll move on to the new world champion at the Alltech FEI World Question Games 2014 in Normandy, which is Sandra Alfard. Congratulations to you, Sandra. Uh, the, the, the question I would like to ask you, which is this, we, we've heard how, how much work you put in bringing this horse on yourself. Did you ever think that you were going to be in this position with this horse? I um, I know, well, I knew that he is good enough, and um, he did all years, every competition, always an amazing job. But I didn't think that we can go to this goal and to be double um, world champion. So that is. Really amazing and still unbelievable. <laughs> Félicitations, uh, Sandra. Alors, uh, tout le monde parle du travail que vous faites. Et vous saviez, est-ce que vous saviez que vous pourriez gagner aujourd'hui? Bah, je savais que mon cheval était très fort et qu'il pourrait gagner, mais je savais pas uh, que ça allait être possible cette semaine. Uh, mais de gagner le double, c'est quelque chose d'exceptionnel. De, Any questions for Sandra? Yes, if we could go to the back there and then to Pippa afterwards. Could you state your name and, and journal, please? Uh, Vincent Lestré, Cheval Magazine. Je voudrais savoir depuis combien de temps elle monte son cheval, uh, qu'elle nous dise un petit peu quelles sont ses qualités, ses défauts, si éventuellement il en a. Et uh, est-ce qu'elle sait que c'est un cheval uh, français qui est né tout près d'ici? Merci. How long have you been riding horses? And could you talk about your strengths and weaknesses? And also, are you aware that the horse you're riding was born just, just near here? Can you please repeat it? How long have you been riding horses? <laughs> this weekend or? <laughs> throughout your life. How can, old were you when you started riding? No, no, can, can, you, can you tell me something about this horse, of girl niveau? When did you start uh, riding yeah. it? Uh, a few words about uh, his qualities and if you know that uh, this horse was born uh, just uh, up there in Normandy. Thank you. I, I got him when he was five years old. I got him to ride him and I had him one year and it was just fun with him. I didn't think that he can be a, a world horse for Olympic Games or World Championships but it was so much fun and he had always a great attitude. So I tried to keep him and I bought him with the um, Olympic Committee from Germany. And um, yeah, then we did every level step by step. So um, I think the first time I thought that could be a really good horse when, was when he was seven years old in Le Lyon d'Angers. So there he showed me really his qualities and um, yeah, it's... Um, Amazing to work with them together. Bah, je l'ai acheté, bah, l'acheter quand il avait euh, 5 ans, et, mais je l'ai pris pour un an. Et euh, bah, c'était plutôt pour le divertissement, en fait. Euh, je ne pensais pas qu'il pourrait gagner euh, au Chéo, au Jeu à Caisse Mondiaux, en fait. Mais euh, vu ce que j'ai vu avec sa, sa mentalité, euh, j'ai décidé de l'acheter euh, avec l'aide du comité olympique euh, Allemagne. Et euh, la première fois que, quand j'ai vraiment pensé qu'il pourrait gagner, qu'il pourrait faire quelque chose euh, de spécial, était quand il avait euh, 7 ans, quand il m'a vraiment montré euh, qu'il avait des qualités d'un champion. Je pense que Pippa, tu voulais poser une question là, s'il vous plaît. Oui, Pippa Rune, de Horse and Hand. I just wondered, Sandra, if you could tell us how your horse and the other horses cope with the journey today from Harris to Pat, and whether he was affected by the big atmosphere in the stadium today. Um, I think he really liked the big atmosphere, and um, that was really nice. I mean, it was 
it was effort to come here for the horse. It was big work this weekend after the cross country to drive this way. But the atmosphere here in the stadium was amazing. And because I knew that he's a good jumper, it was um, okay. And I was relaxed to go at, um, to the end. And yeah, I, we did, all team members did a great job. All clear rounds. That was an yeah, amazing team result for us. Est-ce que vous pouvez parler euh, du transfert euh, du Arras du Pain ce matin et l'ambiance dans le stade aujourd'hui Bah, euh, j'aimais bien l'ambiance. Euh, je dirais que c'était pas tout à fait facile de faire le transfert du Arras euh, pour venir au stade ce matin. Par contre, dès qu'on est arrivé, euh, l'ambiance qu'on a eu euh, dans le stade, bah, c'était euh, extraordinaire. Euh, je savais qu'il pourrait euh, nous montrer une très belle performance aujourd'hui, alors on était tous les deux très détendus. Euh, et par rapport aux autres, bah, on a eu euh, bah, toutes les épreuves, bah, on a eu tous euh, une sens force, alors ça c'était quelque chose de très spécial aussi. Merci. Je pense que... Une autre question, then, Lucinda. Hi, Lucinda Green, Horse Magazine. Very interested to ask Michael one question. Michael. <laughs> uh, just want to know what you felt with this mare when you had her as a young horse that made you feel she was going to be so good because she does not look like an exotic <laughs> event horse. <laughs> um. Um, I had it uh, also from a uh, five-year-old and uh, she was always a very clever horse, a horse uh, she's always in a super balance. Um, she was always fantastic in the cross country. She had not the best moves but always uh, calm and easy to ride and uh, in the show jumping um, also always concentrate and uh, yeah he can't jump uh, very big fences but uh, also in Le Lyon uh, six year old she was on the first place um, so she gave me a really good feeling but everything was a little bit uh, yeah not enough not really enough and I think last year maybe we have to say this horse but uh, now I think the horse is never for sale. Alors, euh, bah, votre jument, bah, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire pourquoi vous avez essayé de, décidé de la garder euh, comme jeune jument en fait Parce que ce qu'on voit d'elle, euh, bah, elle ne donne pas l'impression d'être un cheval très fort de concours complet. Bah, euh, je l'ai eu depuis l'âge de 5 ans. Elle a toujours été un cheval, un ben, jument euh, très intelligent, bien équilibré et très fort en concours de cross en fait. Euh, elle est très calme et euh, elle se concentre super bien euh, sur les obstacles et elle euh, saute très bien euh, ben, les obstacles les plus larges. Elle a gagné pour la première fois à l'âge de 6 ans, mais même à l'âge de 6 ans, on n'était pas très sûr de ses capacités. Par contre, l'an dernier, c'est là qu'on s'est dit, bah, peut-être euh, il faut la garder. Et, euh, parce qu'en en fait, on allait la vendre, on a décidé de la garder. Et là, ce qu'on a vu cette, cette semaine, on ne va plus jamais la vendre. Right, moving onwards to um, our host nation, Maxime, I would like to ask you a question. I was standing very quietly at the side of the arena when the French team went out to meet their crowd um, and we stood in silence for, for one of your representatives. But when you went out to walk there with the rest of the team, it was like you were going out to a football match. The support, the French crowd getting behind you. How important has that been to you and your teammates through the course of this competition? Alors, j'étais au stade aujourd'hui quand vous êtes sorti en termes de en équipe pour un moment de silence pour un de vos co 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 patriotes là aujourd'hui. Alors, il y avait un moment de silence. Tout de suite après, on a entendu les cris et le soutien des spectateurs français. Ça doit être quelque chose de très spécial de faire partie de l'équipe et de participer au jeu Christ mon Dieu devant votre public. Euh, je pense que cette semaine, ça a été une semaine assez difficile pour Rodolphe quand même, parce que euh, 
Il était aux Jeux Mondiaux avec toute la pression que ça incombe et, euh, et il a perdu son, son papa en début de semaine. Ça a été le coach de, le coach de sa vie, c'est la personne qui l'a fait devenir le cavalier qu'il est aujourd'hui. Donc euh, on a un super groupe dans l'équipe de France, vraiment tout, tout le monde est très soudé. Euh, on avait à cœur de, de, de briller cette semaine, on est passé à pas grand chose de, de le faire. Mais en tout cas, on voulait être très soudé autour de Rodolphe dans ce moment difficile et, euh, et c'était un plaisir de, de faire partie de cette équipe parce que c'était parce que une belle équipe de France même si on n'est passé à rien d'une médaille. Focusing on the, the loss of Rodolphe's uh, father this week, that all, all was obviously a very sad time for us all. Um, Rodolphe's father was his coach and he obviously spent every day of his uh, horse riding career with his father. So we've been focusing on, on that as a team this week. We've had a great deal of support within the team but also from the public and, uh, and it's been a pleasure to be part of the team and compete here this week. Okay, any questions for Mike as I move on? Right now I'm acutely aware that we're very patiently, we've had our two... two no? Two? Oh, sorry. Bonjour Maxime, uh, Sébastien Roulier, Grand Prix Magazine. Pardon, la question est un peu tordue, mais... Hier, on a, on a parlé de, de cette option qui était évidemment l'option à prendre pour l'équipe. Mais aujourd'hui, on sait à peu près, on a une vague idée du nombre de secondes que tu as pu perdre sur cette option hier et sans cette option aujourd'hui, tu serais à toute chose égale par ailleurs sur le podium. Est-ce que c'est quelque chose auquel tu penses ou il ne faut pas y penser euh, J'y ai même pas pensé depuis tout à l'heure parce que euh, je pense qu'il ne faut pas avoir du tout de regrets par rapport à ça. Mon cheval n'a que 10 ans cette année. Euh, on, on hésitait déjà à l'emmener parce que c'est parce que un cheval qui était en vraiment en progression cette année. Euh, on est très content de ce qu'il vient de faire. Il a montré qu'on pouvait vraiment compter sur lui euh, dans les années qui viennent. Euh, le rôle d'équipier est un rôle important, donc euh, je ne me pose même pas la question. J'ai fait ça pour le cheval et pour l'équipe. Ben, voilà, Aujourd'hui, euh, la seule déception que j'ai, c'est pour l'équipe. Ce n'est pas, euh, pas du tout pour le résultat individuel. Le résultat individuel, je pense qu'il est... Euh, il est, vraiment, euh, je, il est vraiment convenable et je suis ravi de la perte du cheval. Euh, J'aurais aimé qu'on décroche une, une médaille par équipe et c'est ce que tout le monde était venu chercher ici. Donc j'ai aucun regret par rapport à, à ce choix tactique sur le cross. Yesterday we spoke about medal chances. Um, have you got any regrets about today's performance? No, not at all. Um, everything about being here for me is all about horse riding, being part of the event and being part of such a fantastic team. Um, we took the decision to focus on teamwork and our chances as a team here. Um, I certainly don't have any regrets on a personal level about not getting a medal. Obviously it's disappointing not to have got a medal as, as part of the French team. However, I'm perfectly happy with the performance that we've seen from both myself and my teammates. Thank you. I just want to turn now to Gillian Rolfe before we turn to the teams. I'm sitting very patient. I'm very grateful. Who is our president of our ground, Julie? Gillian, really just sort of summing up your feelings about this competition and how you felt, you know, that the athletes and the, the, the environment played a part. I'd firstly like to say, I'd firstly like to congratulate everybody that's here today, all the riders. They did a fantastic job over the four days of the competition. But not only the ones that are sitting here today, the ones that have won the medals, but also all of the riders yesterday. Um, we all really appreciated the fact that those riders mostly um, took responsibility for their actions, they looked after their horses, they really rode their horses with tact and um, thought and they got their horses home as well as they could. It was, it was tough um, due to the ground conditions, the terrain and it was a four star championship and I think that the riders should all be congratulated for doing a great job out there. 
Est-ce que vous pouvez nous parler de vos pensées euh, en tant que présidente du jury du terrain bah, Je vais commencer par euh, dire bah, félicitations à tous les cavaliers, euh, pas seulement les médaillés qui sont là avec nous, mais tous les cavaliers et surtout euh, bah, ceux qui ont fait partie euh, du concours complet et la journée d'hier, parce que euh, c'était assez difficile hier, mais ils ont tous pris la responsabilité de bien gérer euh, le, leurs chevaux. Euh, c'était assez difficile. Euh, parce qu'il y avait des conditions de terrain qui, qui, qui étaient assez difficiles en fait. Euh, mais c'était un concours complet de 4 étoiles. Et euh, alors il faut euh, féliciter à tout le monde. Right, moving on to our two teams. Um, in third place in bronze, we have the Netherlands. In second place, we have Great Britain. I think Germany, we have sorry, covered. Sorry, but sorry, I have a question for the president. No, yeah. sorry. We've got to move on to the Dutch team. So, moving on to the, the teams, um, is there anybody there would like to, to raise a question? We have with us, as I say, we're very lucky to have with us uh, Tina Cook and Zara Phillips and Harry Mead from Great Britain, and also Elaine Penn, Tim Lips, Meryl Blom and Andrew Hefferman from the Netherlands. So, is there anybody a question for those teams? Or we, maybe let's come back to you. You, okay, yeah. Yes, and as, there we are, there, there we are behind you, behind you. En fait, j'ai une petite question pour euh, tous les cavaliers présents pour euh, nous faire un peu des commentaires après les crosses, justement. Comment ils ont ressenti, parce qu'on voyait bien tous que c'était difficile. Alors, certains, euh, on entendait qu'ils étaient plus ou moins fatigués les chevaux, etc. Donc, euh, si on pouvait avoir les, les remarques de tous les cavaliers euh, à propos des crosses. Just looking back to yesterday, a question to all of the riders here at the moment. Could you just give us your opinion on yesterday's cross country and the ground conditions? You do like springing surprises on me. Um, no, look, there's obviously a lot of talk um, with the ground, but the crown. It was a fantastic course by Pierre Michelet and they did as good a job as they could possibly do on the ground. It was testing. We are at a championship. It's a world equestrian games. Um, the unprecedented rain that they had beforehand, as most of us experienced in the first few days, was not going to be, uh, you know, we couldn't really help that. But there was fantastic grass covering around the course. It drained amazingly well. It was soft, it was testing, it's a world championship, so I think they did a fantastic job. Bah, on a déjà beaucoup parlé des conditions du terrain d'hier. Bah, c'est clair, c'était un parcours assez difficile, c'est une carte étoile, c'était, euh, mais c'était très bien euh, géré par euh, Pierre Michelet. Euh, c'était difficile, mais on est aux Jeux de classe mondiaux. Et euh, bah, euh, les conditions étaient un peu difficiles parce qu'il y avait autant de la pluie, euh, peut-être pas euh, non entendu. Par contre, tout le monde qui a fait du travail là-dessus a fait euh, un très bon travail. And so, I think finally the last question um, for the 2014 games. Do you want to ask a question to whom? Okay. Yeah. Quick. Well, the, the team's been very supportive. We, there's been a great atmosphere all week, and obviously yesterday was a very difficult day. But I, I couldn't have been with more supportive and you know better friends to get through such a difficult time. And the focus really today was to go and do the best job that we could as a team. And you know what more fitting way to remember one poor horse and to try and win a medal in his honour. And you know that's what these guys managed to do. Bah, c'est clair, en fait, hier c'était une journée très triste euh, pour nous tous, mais avec le soutien d'équipe, euh, bah, euh, c'était pas si mal que ça. On avait un esprit d'équipe extraordinaire. Euh, ils m'ont tous aidé. Euh, bah, euh, c'était très triste, très difficile à gérer hier, mais euh, je l'ai affronté avec les meilleurs amis possibles. Euh, L'objectif pour aujourd'hui était de faire notre meilleure performance et c'est justement ce que m'a fait de gagner médaille euh, comme ça, dans son honneur. Euh, ça, ça fait plaisir en fait.
Right, this is the last question I want to ask, and it's to the Dutch team. They have been smiling all the way through this competition most of the time. Um, they've been very, very helpful. I want one of the, the Dutch team, please, to tell me this is the first major medal for a little while, the first World Games medal, and you such a wonderful mixture of experience and, 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 young, and youngsters. Can somebody just tell me what does this mean to, to, the, to the Dutch team in the Netherlands, please? Should we go to the experience first? <laughs> um, I think I speak on behalf of all of us that it means more than you would imagine. Um, we came here with one goal and that was to qualify for Rio and we've done that and we've done an awful lot more. Um, these three have carried me a little bit so to my first medal so I want to thank them, all three of them um, and um, yeah. And also, obviously, to all our management, and especially to Martin Lips, our chef de keep, who you know has been incredibly supportive of us, of us all. Really. It's been it's a fantastic experience, and um, just to, to uh, apparently this is the first world medal that um, Holland have ever won. Um, so you know, watch out, world. <laughs> this is our ticket to Rio. Vous avez eu des très grands sourires pendant toute la semaine et là aujourd'hui on vous voit avec la première médaille dans l'histoire des Jeux Caisse Mondiale pour votre pays. Alors il y a un très beau mélange d'expérience de, et jeunesse dans votre équipe. Alors est-ce que vous pouvez parler de ce que ça dit d'avoir une médaille aujourd'hui On va commencer par l'expérience. Et je vous parle de la part de tous mes coéquipiers en fait. Notre but aujourd'hui était de se qualifier pour les Jeux de Rio en 2016. Et euh, bah, c'est justement ce qu'on a fait. C'est la première médaille dans l'histoire des Jeux à mon Dieu pour notre pays justement. Et je voulais remercier tous mes coéquipiers, les chefs d'équipe, tout le staff euh, qui nous soutient euh, tous les jours. On a eu une très belle expérience en France. Et euh, watch our world <rire> Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. I want to thank uh, all the competitors who came in.